Hello grade 10s. Today we will be introducing the three reciprocals of sine, cos and tan. These are cosec, sec and cot. Let's start by revising what we already know about reciprocals. Reciprocals are two values. These values equal one when they are multiplied by each other. Two over three and three over two are reciprocals of each other. When we multiply these two values, we get an answer of 6 over 6, which can be simplified to 1. Another important thing to remember about reciprocals is that one value is equal to 1 over the other value. Let's look at this together. We already know that 2 over 3 and 3 over 2 are reciprocal values of each other. If one reciprocal is equal to 1 divided by the other reciprocal, this means that 2 over 3 should be equal to 1 divided by 3 over 2. When we divide fractions, we can change the divide sign to a multiply and invert the fraction, meaning that this is equal to 1 times 2 over 3. This of course equals to 2 over 3. But how does this apply to trigonometry? Remember that sine, cos, and tan are all ratios. Sine theta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse side. Cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan theta, opposite over adjacent side. The reciprocal of sine theta would be equal to the hypotenuse over the opposite side. This is given the name cosec. The reciprocal of cos theta would be equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent side. This is given the name sec. The reciprocal of tan theta would be equal to the adjacent over the opposite side. This is given the name cot. Sine and cosec are reciprocal ratios. Therefore, cosec theta equals 1 over sine theta. Cos and sec are reciprocal ratios. Therefore, sec theta equals 1 over cos theta. Tan and cot are reciprocal ratios. Therefore, cot theta equals 1 over tan theta. These reciprocals can be very useful when we need to solve for a missing length or size of an angle. Let's look at an example together. In triangle DEF, angle D equals 90 degrees, angle E equals 49 degrees, and DF equals 5 centimeters. Determine the length of EF. We need to find out which trigonometric ratio will best fit the given information. The ratio needs to include the side EF and include the angle of 49 degrees. EF is the hypotenuse. We know that the length of DF is 5 centimeters and it is opposite to angle E. We know that the trig ratio that links the hypotenuse side and the opposite side is sine. But there is a problem with using this ratio. If we use sine, the unknown value EF would be in the denominator, making it more difficult to solve for. If we use the reciprocal of sine to solve for the missing length, EF would then be in the numerator. The reciprocal for sine is cosec. Therefore, cosec of 49 degrees equals EF over 5. By multiplying both sides by 5, we get 5 times cosec 49 equals EF. At this point, we would usually use our calculators to find the answer. But if we look at the calculator, there is no cosec button. This means that we need to change cosec to its reciprocal, sine. Cosec 49 degrees has the same value as 1 over sine 49 degrees. Pressing 5 bracket, 1 divided by sine 49 on our calculator gives us a value of 6,63 centimeters. 
Therefore, EF is 6,63 centimeters. We have taken a brief look at reciprocal ratios and how they can be used in trigonometry. You will need to learn these off by heart, so let's look at them one more time. Cosec is the reciprocal of sine. Sec is the reciprocal of cos and cot is the reciprocal of tan. Thank you for joining us, Great Tens. Please look at the task video for more practice on reciprocal ratios. You will also find more information on trigonometry at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.